Welcome to Microsoft Learning Courseware Library Help Video Series. My name is Annie Chaudhary and I am one of the program managers who worked on the new Courseware Library platform. In this video, I am going to show you how the new Courseware Library empowers you to find courses really fast. How we are allowing you to make a fully informed purchase decision based on MCT and student MTM reviews and how to place an order once you have found the right course for your needs. You can buy digital courseware from Courseware Library platform. The catalog in the Courseware Library allows you to search for courses and preview a course that you are interested in to evaluate whether it is appropriate for your needs. When you find the course that you want, you can purchase licenses for them directly from Courseware Library. Courseware Library is a role-based platform. Depending on your role and permission, some functionality might not be available to you in Courseware Library. I am currently logged in as a learning partner administrator. To find a course, type the, your search in the search catalog box and then click go. I will type SQL Server. After I get the desired results, I will click the title of the course. The detail page for the course shows me the description, the details, and the materials, if any, attached with this course. Also included are the student rating and MCT rating for this course. As you can see on the screen, we now show what students think about each course and what MCTs are saying about the course. And even how many MCTs would recommend this course. This information is here so that you can make a fully informed choice about which course will meet your needs. For community courses, we allow you to download material for review before buying. You can download a preview version to evaluate whether it is appropriate for your needs. To do this, click on download trial for the course for which you want to make an evaluation. On the evaluation page, you can either open a file or download all files by clicking the checkbox next to download or click a specific file and then click download. When you download the materials, you will see a watermark on them like the one shown on the screen. The header is the name of the organization you are logged in as, while the footer includes the Windows Live ID of the user logged in, the date the download was made, and a caution that this is a partner-only copy and should not be distributed. For buying licenses, after navigating to the detail page of the course you want to buy, add the quantity of licenses and click Add to Cart. Click the shopping cart icon on the right. Review the course or courses in your cart and make any changes if required and then click update cart. If you have a discount code, type the discount code in the box and click apply. If you have more than one discount code, you will need to type in each discount code individually and then click apply each time. When ready for purchase, click proceed to checkout. 
the payment page, select the payment method. We allow two types of payment by credit card and PayPal. On a previous visit, I had saved my credit card information and set it as default. I will select that credit card and click next. After reviewing the information, place your order. On the order confirmation page, click print receipt if you would like a receipt of your purchases. After the purchase process has been confirmed, you can start consuming licenses. On available licenses, you can view total number of licenses purchased, number of licenses that have been assigned, and total number of licenses still available. If you want to distribute course material to students, instead of having them access material themselves through the My Learning platform, you can download on their behalf. Available licenses page and search for the desired course. Click used next to the course. Enter the number of licenses you want to download and click download. If you do not want to download all files at this time, you can cancel but keep in mind the licenses have already been activated for consumption. Also note that downloaded materials contain a watermark reflecting the associated license key. Per terms of use of digital courseware, each downloaded license may be consumed by one and only one student. You can also view the order history by specifying the date range. The order history shows order date, order number, status and total cost of order. Click the order number to see additional details. I hope this video has been useful for you. We have covered how to find courses in the catalog, how to choose the best course by using the MTM review provided by MCTs and students, how to buy courses and how to download and use courses. If you haven't already yet done, I encourage you to register and sign in to the new courseware library platform today and start exploring also check out other videos on introduction to courseware library and publishing schedules thanks for watching